Hello everyone, my name is Bob. My daughter Naomi is all grown up now, but ever since she was little, she's wanted to write books for children. Her first two books were called The Perfect Fit and One More Try. They were written by her and illustrated by her husband, James. I'd like to share with you her newest book. It's called The Odd Fish. It's an adventure story about a little fish swimming in the sea when she spots something a little bit different. Shall we find out what happens? Little Fish was swimming with her family when she spotted something a bit different. So she swam over to investigate. What is it? Hold up. She spotted something. Hello, said Little Fish. But Odd Fish didn't say anything back. I think you're shy, whispered Little Fish. And you're all alone. Shall we help you find your family? Odd Fish bobbed up and down. Bob, Bob, Bob. Does Bob mean yes? Little Fish searched under seashells, among the seaweed, and behind the rocks. But there was no sign of Odd Fish's family anywhere. Hey, called Seahorse. I've seen fish like that before. Where? asked Little Fish. Boo! Ah! Past the reef, Seahorse pointed. Just follow the current. Thank you, Seahorse, said Little Fish. Come on, everyone. Woo, let's go. I love the reef. Are we there yet? It was a long way through the reef. Little Fish soon got tired, but Odd Fish was very kind and nudged them all along. Thanks, Odd Fish. <laughs> that tickles. Nearly there. We made it, cried Little Fish. Hi, Finn. But then... Let our friend go, squealed Little Fish. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sorry. I'm in such a tangle. I can't see what I'm doing, wailed Octopus. Maybe we can help, suggested Little Fish. Together, they untangled Octopus. Oh, what a muddle. Up a bit. Down a bit. Oh, thank you, said Octopus. Have you seen Odd Fish's family? asked Little Fish. Yes, said Octopus. Just follow the current. Come on, Little Fish, we're getting closer. Thanks, Octopus. Bob, 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 went Odd Fish. Off they swam into the big blue sea when Big fish! shrieked Little Fish. Hide! We're going to get eaten! Big fish! Big fish! Big fish! But Odd Fish bravely kept on swimming. When it was safe to come out, Little Fish and her family swam as fast as they could to try and catch Odd Fish. Slow down, Odd Fish. Wait for us, shouted Little Fish. Ugh, what smelly bubbles. Where are they coming from? Are you OK? asked Little Fish. I've got a tummy ache, said Turtle. That must hurt, frowned Little Fish. Maybe stop eating that. Pooey. Oh dear! Turtle spat out his snack. Good idea, thanks. Have you seen any fish like my friend? asked Little Fish. Just follow the current and you'll find them, replied Turtle. Together, they kept going around whirlpools. Nearly there. Oh, I'm dizzy! and through enormous waves that splashed and sploshed above them. Finally, 
little fish spotted something a little bit familiar. My fins are tired. Surf's up. Bobbing up and down with the waves was a school of odd fish of all shapes, sizes and colours. Look, odd fish, we found your family, said little fish. We found them. There's too many odd fish to count. Where did they all come from? Bob. 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 Goodbye, odd fish, little fish called. Little fish wondered if she'd ever see such strange fish again. The end. I do hope you've enjoyed The Odd Fish. If you'd like to know more about what inspired Naomi and James to write a book about plastics in the ocean, do take a look at the last page of the book, as there's lots of information there. You can also find out how you can do something to help. So that is The Odd Fish. If you want to buy your own copy of The Odd Fish, The Perfect Fit, or One More Try, they are, of course, available online and from all good bookstores. If you do like them, ask your grown-up to leave a review. I shall see you here again very soon with more stories. Bye for now. Thank you.